Hello, today I'm going to talk about uh, grafting. You may have uh, heard this term before, but it's combining two different plants into one single plant. It's pretty common in the ornamental industry. You might see the uh, tree roses, you might see some of the weeping forms of trees. Pretty common in the, uh, veg uh, the fruit uh, industry as well. You might see grafting on grapes or, or pecans. But today I've got some uh, tomatoes here. So it's also important as far as the vegetable industry. Um, it's becoming kind of a more of a hot topic looking at um, having a, a, root, a root stock, so the lower piece of that graft, uh, something that has disease resistance or it's adapted to a certain soil or it's also very vigorous root stock. And then using a scion, some, the scion piece, that's what's going to be the top part of your graft and that's what you're going to actually get as far as the fruit. So if it's some kind of heirloom variety or something that produces big nice slicing tomatoes. As far as grafting, you'll see that there's uh, several different methods. Kind of depends on the, the size of the stalk. If you've got a really small plant here, like what we've got here, and I've got these uh, separated uh, over here. Okay, so this is going to be my maxifor. This is my my root stalk piece here. And so for this smaller piece here, we'll cut it right below this cotyledons. I just cut it straight across, and then we can use one of these little grafting clips here and they come in different sizes as well. So you really gotta know what size material, uh, plant material that you're working with, okay? So these smaller clips, they, don't, they only work as well with, on the smaller plants. There's also some larger clips that we'll see as far as the uh, larger plant material, okay? So that's gonna be my rootstock piece here. And then here's my scion piece here, I'm gonna cut it. And since this is still pretty small, I might reduce it a little bit and just kinda trim a couple of these leaves off of it and that's just going to help uh, reduce that transpiration that's going to occur okay or that water loss so once you have that you have your piece you've already got your other piece cut here and then you can just kind of open up that clip and then slide it on down okay so that's uh, that's one way of uh, this is a you might see it as a tube graft here okay with larger material Let's see here. So this is my root stock on this side, and this is this boxcar willy as far as the uh, heirloom that I want to be on the top. Okay, another method here that, that we can see, you can do a splice graft, and basically with it is you got this long slanting uh, sloping cut, about a 45 degree angle, and then as far as this, uh, your scion piece here, you want to try to make the same kind of cut on it, but you'll notice that for these larger material, and again, I want to reduce all this. I don't need all these leaves on here. So you just need one central uh, leaf on here. All right, so with this, we can see then that you want to match up those, those different angles. And hopefully you're choosing a rootstock and a scion piece that are about the same size. That's what works the best, um, ideally. So if, you have, so if you know that you want to do some grafting, you don't want to just work with just one or two plants, you probably want to plan out uh, a whole tray and that way you can kind of choose between them and see which ones work the best. Okay. All right, so you just put that clip on there that worked pretty well. Um, with this, whenever you put that clip on there, you also want to kind of take a look at it, make sure that that graft union didn't move. You want to make sure that you have that good contact in there and we're trying to line up these, these uh, the cambium layers. Okay. So what I just showed was a splice. We can also do one that's pretty similar uh, to that to that splice, again cutting it down at an angle. We'll cut this one as well at an angle. And then this time I'll actually come back in here and this will be the, the tongue piece. You may have heard of a whip and tongue. So that's just adding a tongue piece. And then we can do the same for this one. So I'm going about a third from the top of that cut. It may end up being about a half is the size of this material. Again, with this, if you try to put this, the, top, the scion piece onto this rootstock with all these leaves, uh, it's just going to want to fall over. Okay? It's also going to transpire, so it's going to probably dry out before it actually has time to callus over and take. All right, so from this piece here, we can see it should just kind of slide in here like that. And then we'll put another grafting clip on it. All right, so then this is the, the whip and tongue method. When you're doing these, you wanna to try to work as fast as possible. You don't wanna cut and then go do something and then come back to it because this material will dry out uh, pretty fast. All right, the last one that I'll show you here, it's a pretty even size rootstock and scion piece. 
All right, so for this one here, this is my root stock, so I'm just going to cut it straight across. And in this case, I'm actually going to come back and just divide this right in half. Okay. And on this one here, this is the uh, scion piece. So cut it. Actually reduce it again. Okay, then in this case, since we split this, we need to basically form a wedge that'll go inside. And then usually I make another cut, come back and just kind of even out that bottom piece so that you end up with this wedge piece. Find a clip for it. Square it up at the base. Again, this one here, you should end up with kind of a flathead screwdriver on the top and then this wedge base at the bottom of it. Okay. All right. So once you have your, your graph that you're working with, again, you don't want to leave these out very long. So with these, I'm just going to set them inside. I have this container here. And again, you want to be pretty careful with these. You don't want to grab them by the tops or anything because that, because again, you just barely hold them on with those clips. I've got a trash bag here. Basically, you want to put this in a high humidity environment, and that way they're not going to transpire. If we just left them out like this on a hot day like today, probably a matter of uh, 15 minutes, these will start wilting over. Okay, so I've got a spray bottle here. I'm just going to kind of give them a give them a light misting, and I'm also going to spray this bag down as well. And again, that should give me this high humidity environment. Okay, so the idea here is again, we'll leave it in, uh, put this, you don't want it in uh, direct sunlight, you want to put it in some kind of indirect sunlight. Uh, you could put it like underneath a table or in a, in a uh, cabinet. Basically, it just needs this dark environment for about seven days. At that point, this uh, graph should start to heal where that graph union is, and then you can slowly acclimate it to light. You might check this just to make sure that it is a high humidity environment. You should see water start building up on the edge of it. So hopefully then, uh, after a week, you move it out, give it a little bit more light, and then move it on to some more light from there. And hopefully you'll have a good successful uh, graft as far as the vegetables. Okay, so today we did work with uh, tomatoes. It's also common, um, you know, generally if you're working within species, so if you want to just try different tomato, uh, different cultivars, but there's also cases that you'll see that you could even try working within the same family. So something like uh, grafting, uh, tomatoes onto peppers, or you can even find crazy graphs out there as far as uh, tomatoes and potatoes. Uh, cucurbits, there's a lot of grafting within those if you think of, of all the different uh, melons as well. But again, generally the, the reason for grafting this is you're trying to use some kind of vigorous rootstock to increase fruit production or some kind of disease resistance, whether it's verticillium uh, or tobacco mo uh, mosaic virus or any kind of uh, viruses or, or wilt diseases. <music>